Hi, my name is Maureen. I'm a teacher and the founder of the Online Rock Lessons Piano Academy. Today, I want to talk to you about the one thing that I've learned from John Lord. If you don't know who he is, he was the keyboard player for Deep Purple. He added some distortion on the Hammond organ using a Marshall amp. This new sound just changed everything because now the keyboard was in front of the sound of a band, just like a guitar player. The other thing that he did is that he used inverted fifth on the Hammond organ. So with the distortion and the big sound, it was just awesome. All right, so we're gonna talk about how it works, what is inverted fifth, and how you can actually practice this. So let's start by looking at the sound I'm gonna use for today. So I'm using the plugin IK Multimedia Hammond B3X. And what is very cool about that plugin is that they already have preset that sounds just like John Lord. So the one I'm going to be using today is the Perfect Grind, and it sounds like this. All right, for the settings is the first four draw bars, and we have nothing else right here. So you can see just down below what I'm using. So let's talk about the fifth. What is it? It's an interval of five notes. If I start from C to G, we have one, two, three, four, five notes right here. So this is a fifth, a normal fifth. But what John Lord did is that instead of playing just the fifth normal, just like that, he took the top note and put it below the note we were playing, the melody, just like that. And it just changed everything because everything was sounding just better like this. Let's take a real example. If we look at Smoke on the Water, I'm sure you know that song. This whole riff is inverted fifth. The melody of Smoke on the Water is G, B flat, C, the blue note. It's basically the G minor pentatonic blues right here it goes up and down but now instead of playing that with normal fifth he added the fifth below each note of the melody right here so we would have G and D and then B flat and F C and G back again with the blue note same thing going down and so basically it's all inverted fifth and this is why it sounds so good it's so amazing another song that uses the same thing is perfect strangers It's all inverted fifths. Let's take a look at it. So this is on the minor pentatonic scale. So we have D and A, C and G, F, C. Again, all inverted fifths. So it really became the sound of John Lord, having some Hammond organ with distortion and playing inverted fifth. All right, now I wanna show you how you can actually practice this idea and use it in your solos and your comping. So the whole thing is based on the minor pentatonic scale or the minor blues pentatonic scale. So let's go back to G. G minor pentatonic scale is this. So it's one flat three, four, sharp four, or flat five, this is the blue note, five, flat seven, back to one. So G minor, pentatonic, blues right here. So the exercise is to add a fifth below each note of the scale. So we'd have this one going to the third, fourth, sharp four, fifth, seven, and we have G and T, just like that. And you do that with only one hand. Mm -hmm. 
and you can transpose that on any other pentatonic scale. So this is a very cool trick because it's gonna help you create some riff, write some songs and have a cool rhythm comping over there. So it sounds so good. All right, if you're a John Lord fan as much as I am, you must check out my new course on onlinerocklessons.com. It's all about to how to play in the style of John Lord. I'm talking comping, scales, licks and grooves and how to play all of that with the sound and the inverted fifth. So check it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description just below. Now have fun with this and have a good practice.